Hey everybody, I'm Beebs Kelly. Welcome back. Today's question has to do with Catherine, Princess of Wales. Many of you have written to me or left in the comments questions regarding this new trend that Kate is wearing white heels lately. Most of the comments and questions were from people who did not like the look. It used to be said that you can only wear white heels during the warm weather seasons because in part they are difficult to keep clean and things of that nature and they have that sort of bright, fresh, summery vibe to them, white shoes in general. They also used to say it about white pants. However, we've really moved away from that, especially with the white sneaker trend that's been like not really a trend so much as a permanent staple in people's wardrobes because it just adds that little pop and it looks nice and sharp. It looks a little bit nicer than tennis shoes with lots of stuff on them. Um, so I really don't think that that's so much a thing anymore. As long as it's tied into the outfit somehow and it makes sense with the overall look, meaning either it matches your accessories or there is white in your outfit, one of the two, preferably, then I think it's just fine. And I actually quite like white shoes if it's cohesive with the outfit. I would not like to see like a black dress with white shoes, the opposite kind of inverted from what we've seen in some people who do like a black dress with nude heels or a white dress with black heels. You know, I think sometimes those things could be tied in better. With white shoes, it's the same thing. It just needs to be tied into the outfit in some way to me. But the reason why white shoes tend to actually look quite nice visually is that they have such a strong impact. White shoes are actually really hard to keep clean, as we all know, I'm sure. It is difficult to keep them looking bright and looking good. And so it actually sends a really strong sort of message of, of cleanliness, care for your things, thoughtfulness in your appearance. It's almost like a a bit of like a rich vibe. What do you think when you see white shoes? When they are clean, I find them to add a really bright and polished pop. Honestly, I think they're crisp and fresh and they're still a neutral, so they really go with most outfits or most things. It's really easy to match them to stuff. And I really do. I think they kind of add a classy vibe, even if they're sneakers or heels. So you see in this image here, Catherine, I know so many of you, I almost said Kate, you guys really appreciate it when we say Catherine, Princess of Wales, so please excuse me if I say Kate, but she is wearing a dress here, as you can see, that looks to have some white in the pattern. It's all one continuous line, so actually highlighting her feet is, which they actually are a nice proportionate size for her. They don't look like real big or anything. She doesn't upsize her shoes in a dramatic or noticeable way. So they never look like big. Even though white shoes can tend to look a little bit bigger on feet than say black shoes, because black is slimming and minimizing, these look really, really nice and feminine and dainty at the bottom of her dress here. And I think that it's a nice neutral highlight to sort of punctuate this look. It works especially well with that white in her pattern there. And because the dress is so one color, I think having that bright pop down there actually is really nice because she is quite tall to sort of give that bit of a shift and draw the eye down a little bit. I'm not sure that I remember seeing her wear white shoes all that often in the past, maybe a few times, but I'm not sure that it's like a signature thing for her. So it's kind of a good way to evolve her looks and continually try new things. She knows how to dress her figure well. So she does sometimes stick to similar silhouettes, the types of silhouettes that work best for her body, which is smart. But then sometimes that means that you end up looking maybe a little bit like you need to shake up your wardrobe here and there or do something a little bit different sometimes to keep the interest alive with your outfits and that's totally fine and normal but it's important to not start venturing out into clothes that don't suit you on the account of trying to shake up your look a great way to shake up your look while still wearing stuff that suits you well and looks best on your body is to play with your accessories try new types of shoes or colors of shoes handbags jewelry things of that nature is a great way to shake things up without having to venture into clothing styles that may or may not suit your body best and be the most flattering for you. Prevent your look from going stale. And for somebody like Catherine, who is in the limelight a lot of the time and is getting photographed frequently, you know, 
it's a really great hack actually. So if you're somebody who has clothing that you really like or you know what works well for your body but you start to feel stuck, try switching up your accessories before you try switching up your silhouettes because it's most important that your clothing is most flattering to you and comfortable for you. So changing up your shoes can be a really great compromise. So I hope that that answers the questions well and inspires you to try some new shoes out next time you're out and about. I've always loved the pop of a bright colored heel at the bottom of a more neutral outfit. Something like jeans and a nice shirt or blouse or even a blazer with a pop in the heel can be a really exciting look so get yourself a fan snazzy pair of heels or or even flats flats are apparently trending this year get yourself something snazzy and bright or a new pattern or something and try shaking up your look a little bit that way it can be a really fun way to approach keeping your look from falling stale all right, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Don't forget to check out the Happy Day merch so you can remind yourself to have a happy day every day with a snazzy little mug. And please click the like button if you enjoyed today's video, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. You could click the bell icon to be notified every time we post new videos and share this video with anybody else you think would enjoy it. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and everything you guys do for me and being here with me today. I hope that you have a happy day ahead and I will see you next time. Bye.